This is how the believer is. When he is upon the straight path and when he is determined, until he becomes distracted, until he allows himself to be distracted. How many people are like that? If they was to give their effort, if you was to memorize two verses of Quran a day, how much Quran would you memorize in a year? And how much Quran do you memorize in a year? If you was to memorize a small hadith, there are collections of small hadith, one line hadith, it would take you two or three minutes to memorize a hadith, to sit a day and to memorize a hadith. Even less than that, how much Quran do you read a day? It would take you a short period of time after the salawat, five, ten minutes, to sit and read a page of the Quran. We find that people say, and they imagine they don't have any time. But your iPhone will dry snitch on you, right? Because it has that thing, what is it called? The screen time. Mm. <laughs> screen time will tell you how long you've been staring at your phone. How long do you spend on a daily basis in zombie mode, staring at your phone, flipping through tweets, flipping through news stories, flipping through Twitter, reading things, reading things that are of no benefit, meaning things that are batil. Batil, beautified for you. Your mind, the dopamine is being released from your brain. You're getting pleasure from looking at things that will have no benefit for you in the dunya or in the hereafter. And so the shaitan comes to distract you. A person is going to engage in something of good. He's going to try to develop some type of habit and the shaitan is going to distract him at every opportunity. 